It is uh, strange, but this is the first time in the history of uh, EuroLeague Final Four that we didn't hear the, the president speaking on stage. No, it's not first time. Also, is last year was uh, is the, is the same. But you know, I am okay. With this I congratulate the four teams, and uh, they they um, achieve and uh, the goal and to come to the final four, and they are protagonists, coaches, you know, captains and players, and they need to talk, and they will talk also in the court. This is a different presidential uh, philosophy and mentality. Uh, no. Tell me a little bit, uh, you know, it's been a long time since uh, you've been on the court, but uh, every time that uh, the Final Four arrives, of course you remember, you know, these uh, uh, special times that uh, you played and you crowned, you know, with uh, Pana and uh, with uh, Barcelona. Mm -hmm. uh, how do you remember this kind of uh, moments? I don't know, it's the great memories, is. Um, you know, I think that uh, every player wants to to come to the to do the final four and to win. You know, I did it three times with the two different teams in the in the three final fours, and I'm very proud on this and uh, very you know great memories. Uh, it's it's always something special. How it's, do you see this? Uh Final Four, uh, they say that uh, it's probably one of the best uh, in the history, you know, with a small difference between four teams. You know, I think that uh, these four teams, uh, we are coming from the one uh, uh, great regular season and after, you know, playoffs was, was also amazing and, uh, you know, I think that it's very open Final Four. I saw four teams with the uh, you know, four of them all competitive, and I think that we expect, you know, very good games and to see and to win the best team.